Kwingineko mtazamaji ni kwamba serikali hivi karibuni tazindua kampeni ya kuhamasisha umma kuhusiana na kazi za kidijitali katika juhudi za kupunguza uhaba wa nafasi za ajira pamoja na gharama ya ulipaji mishahara inayokuwa kwa kasi nchini. Mwenyekiti wa tume ya utumishi wa umma Balozi Anthony Mushiri alisema ushirikishwaji wa akili mnemba utatoa nafasi kwa kuongezea ujuzi wa tumishi wa umma wa matumizi mwafaka ya teknolojia ya dijitali. Aidha mtazamaji Mushira alisema haya wakati wa uzinduzi wa programu ya kidijitali kwa jina maarifa mtambuko wa kampuni ya Profile International inayohusika na udhabiti na pamoja na kudhibiti usimamizi wa vipaji. Meneja msimamizi wa kampuni hii Vicky Karoga amesema programu mpya ya elimu ya dijitali itasaidia kukuza ajenda ya serikali ya mageuzi ya kiuchumi kidijitali. With you because when you are measured on output and productivity it doesn't matter where you sit whether you're sitting at home and uh, whether you're sitting in the office and if you are producing at home why do we need to pay rent for that particular office why do you need to provide uh, other associated benefits that come with going to the office that's where we are heading it happened it was forced on us by covid and it's here to stay. Uh, it is something that we have to change in the public service. And it has to be done with foresight. We want to also take local knowledge, package it in a world-class platform, and be able to deliver it to our people. That means you're getting local solutions. You're getting someone who looks like me, you know, to tell you something. So you're connecting already. And maybe not just that, but being able to speak to what's currently happening, I think will be a great game changer when it comes to our access to digital content.